Hi everyone, and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. In this video, I'm diving into the world of storage drives and comparing SSHDs versus SSDs to help you decide which is better for your needs. We'll look at size, speed, cost, and reliability. So let's get to it. We've come a long way since the first five megabyte hard drives were delivered by cargo plane and moved around with forklifts. These days, you have plenty of great options for your data storage needs. Actually, you probably have too many choices. This variety can lead to some confusion. When buying a hard drive today, you have three types, SSDs, HDDs, or SSHDs. This acronym soup might tempt you to just give up and go back to clay tablets, but I'll help you figure out which is the best for you. Let's break down what SSDs, HDDs, and SSHDs actually are. SSDs are solid state drives. They have no moving parts whatsoever and make use of solid state flash memory. HDDs are hard disk drives. These are the traditional mechanical drives that were standard until quite recently. They use spinning platters covered in magnetic substance to store data, with tiny read-write heads fitting across the surface. SSHDs are solid state hybrid drives. These drives contain both solid state memory and spinning mechanical disks. Clever software inside the drive figures out which files should be loaded onto the solid state memory in the background, giving you similar performance to a pure SSD for frequently accessed files. Speaking of performance, there's a clear hierarchy when it comes to these drives. SSDs are the fastest type of drive in every comparison. A good quality SATA SSD will hit the limits of the connection type with read and write speeds around 500 megabytes per second. NVMe SSDs, which are even faster, typically reach read and write speeds of 3.5 gigabytes a second, but there are drives with up to 14 gigabytes a second on the horizon. SSHDs are only available as SATA drives, so they max out at 600 megabytes a second. They can achieve SSD speeds for short bursts depending on the size of the SSD cache and whether the write files are preloaded, otherwise they fall back to standard hard drive speeds. Traditional hard drives are the slowest. High-end 7200 RPM drives can reach around 230 megabytes a second, but typical 5400 RPM drives are much slower, ranging from 30 megabytes a second to about 110 megabytes a second. When it comes to physical size, SSDs have been produced in 3.5 and 2.5 inch standard drive sizes using the SATA connector. However, NVMe format drives are much smaller, about the size of a stick of desktop PC RAM, and sit tightly against the motherboard, taking up no drive bays at all. SSHDs and HDDs are only available in 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch form factors. They are significantly heavier than SSDs, adding to the bulk of your system. So, let's talk about cost and capacity. SSD prices have come down, but a quality drive still commands the highest price per gigabyte. SSDs are also relatively limited in capacity, with the largest drives currently at around 8 terabytes, but these come with eye-watering prices. Typically, systems come equipped with 250GB to 500GB drives, which isn't much in a world of 100GB video games and 4K video. SSHDs and HDDs have similar pricing, with SSHDs costing a little bit more due to the inclusion of SSD storage and more sophisticated electronics. Both have a low per gigabyte cost and offer huge capacities, exceeding 10TB at the high end. When it comes to reliability, Traditional hard drives typically have a mean time before failure of around 100,000 hours. Failure is usually due to mechanical components wearing out. SSDs, theoretically, should last forever, but consumer-grade SSD memory wears out a little every time you write data to it. However, modern high-capacity SSDs have been shown to last far beyond their rated lifespans. On the other hand, SSHDs with their small SSD cache may wear out faster due to constant writing. So, which drives are best for which use cases? SSDs are best used as system drives for the operating system and applications that benefit from high speeds, like video editors, productivity applications, and video games. Since they're expensive, SSDs are wasted on media files or data archiving. SSHDs are a sensible choice for laptop computers with a single drive bay. They offer some performance increases while providing plenty of cheap storage. HDDs are perfect for storing large media files, backups of video games, and other applications, and any data that doesn't require SSD speeds. They're cheap and, when used as an external drive that doesn't run constantly, make a good backup solution. In systems with multiple drives, the optimal solution today 
is an SSD main drive with a large HDD as a secondary mass storage drive. However, with SSD prices going down and capacities going up, the future looks to be purely solid state. We're not quite there yet, but the day when SSD storage is cheaper than HDD storage may not be far off. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.